I would like to explain how to make a legend with a very specific design. So right now we are going into general just sample block legend and here we will try to make the same design. So let's delete some lines, go into create edit legend. Let's uh, go into select parameters. Here we will add additional type mark parameter. We will use the same type mark parameter in grouping. And let's make our first column. Now let's press OK. And as you see here, we can still make changes with our legend. So we will draw additional lines to the left side. Here we will move type mark, parameter name and the values. Let's delete some lines from the top. Okay. And now um, let's move a little bit upper. Actually, if you want, you can change the text styles as well. Uh, you can filter uh, all text notes. You can go into edit type and you can say that maybe set type will be bold. The same with our created symbol. You can select that and you can create additional um, type if it's needed. Right now there is no such parameter but you can go into edit family. You can modify the text notes. And you can save that as a separate family for your future legends. You can save that into the general library, but at the same time you can save into any library you want. That's it. We will load this into the project. And right now, type mark parameter we have bold, uh, bold text node. Okay, uh, let's uh, try to edit the legend. Okay, so parameters are correct and right now if I will try to pick the rows, you can see that there is no such line that will indicate the distance between, uh, between elements. So right now I will create additional line. So that line will indicate the distance and direction between the elements. Again, let's go back into create with legend. Let's pick rows and we will pick the, the line that we have created before and the elements that will be added to the right side. That's it. We have created a legend according to the design we wanted and that was described in the PDF file.